Chanel Coco flat bag. Um, I want to talk about it just a little bit before I unbox. And actually, I already opened it because I was so excited to get it, but I'm going to walk through the process. This is nothing new. But I decided to buy this bag because I am rebooting my handbag collection. I am going to do this on my channel at a later time with the handbags that I um, already own. And now that I've added this to my collection, I probably have one more to buy. Um, so let's get into it. Right here is the box. I know you've seen a ton of these, so I won't get all the way into it. But I opened it. There's the camellia, the card, the maybe sincere thank you, my receipt, the chick that sold it to me. And by the way, I got this at Neiman Marcus, and I think. New Jersey, which I thought it was Seattle, but it was actually New Jersey. And um, she actually did this for me on the phone because, I mean, you know what the protocol is for that. So if you have purchased with Chanel before, you can buy them over the phone. So this is what it comes with, is these nice little pleated tissue bag, tissue box stuff. And I'm just gonna go that quickly. And now we're gonna get to the juicy part. Nice dust bag. Wonderful dust bag. Smells amazing. So, it is the Coco Flat, black on black, and it has a sheen to it, which that is one of the qualities that the black on black bags come with in the black enamel. Um, and the chain hardware, which I'll take. So it has a black chain with a black leather running through it. And everything is, like you can see all. So that you can see here, it is just the classic Chanel um, logo with a watermark design and a twist to unlock. And there we have the packaging that is, you know, so that's not touched or whatever. I'm not for sure if it has been, except for me. So I'm gonna just like, let's get into it. It's not much to it. Paper, stuff with paper, filled with paper. And I'm not gonna say how much stuff I'm gonna put in here because I literally, like I have a wallet, but I don't carry it. And I just stick my cards and my money and my receipts in here. So I'm not gonna even like, be, I, I'm not gonna even tell you like everything that you can fit in here because you can watch another video for that. Because when I'm carrying my handbags, there's hardly anything in there. There's some lipstick and everything that I'm wearing and I know that nobody asks. I'm gonna explain that at the end of the video. But I, I bring a lipstick, my ID, um, my credit card and um, so basically not a lot of stuff is going to go in there so if anybody's going to say there's not a lot of room in there I don't care because this is all that I need it has three well actually four compartments well nope it's um, two um, little sleeves on the side then there's a big area open there's a zip center for maybe your my valuables because I don't carry a wallet and there's another zip thing so as long as I can get my cell phone and um, three lipsticks in here and a eyebrow pencil I'm good so there's three open compartments and I love it and on the back they have this classic you know it's because it's the classic um, quilting we have this bag on the back I would just probably not put anything in there because I mean I just wouldn't but there's something in there now oh oh good some useful information exactly how much it costs the serial number so we that's that's pretty much 
everything about this bag and I'm gonna give you a reason that I bought it. And here we go. Well, I want the classic maxi um, Chanel bag, flat bag, and I have waited until the price has escalated to oh, almost $7,000 now. And I can't see myself at this point paying $7,000 for a bag. So I've been looking and searching and searching and searching for something that could stand in this place as a stand in. I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna buy it, but I seriously, I'm waiting for something to happen, so maybe so. But for now, this will be a good stand in for me. I love this bag, the size of it, the elements of the bag, how, I mean, like I can wear it with many things because I often wear black except in the summertime. So the winter months, I'd wear this like, all the time like with jeans i dress it up i would dress it down um i'm not um some of the general concerns that they have can you wear it as a crossbody i am tiny so i can um some people say that they can't but i could wear it as a crossbody but i probably wouldn't because i have crossbodies for that but i i just kind of put it across me really quickly but in the winter i think with a sweater and a blazer and all that kind of stuff i probably wouldn't do it but i, I mean i just love that it has this top handle um this will work for me at work um you know i am in a job where you know like i dress professional sometimes i mean we all are in quarantine right now but you know i would if I were going to a meeting or something like this, I would take this bag. I mean, it'd be a power move for me. So I would, um, i carry this bag, wear a suit, wear a dress, dress it up, um, or dress it down, or, or maybe on, even on casual Friday. So that's basically what I would do with the bag. I don't have to have any reasons for this bag. I just love it. I mean, there's, I mean, what don't you like about it? Um, I guess someone did say if it were the, the Jumbo or the Maxi Classic bag. I mean, you're right. But for me, the price point was right and um, I got it. So um, this is what I am gonna do in a later video. I'm gonna style it with like some casual things, um, just basically like integrating it into my wardrobe about like how I, how I dress and I'm gonna go into my style later on, but this fits. Fits, fits, fits. I'm not gonna go into anything else except it fits me. So if you want that classic flap look and um, you like the black on black design and then you're maybe waiting to buy a um, the classic bag or maybe the boy bag in all black or something like that, that would be the only other move I would do to buy an all black, black on black bag like this. The, um, this Coco flap bag fits the bill for me. So for now, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm gonna wear it and I don't have any idea that I would ever sell it. I, don't, I mean, I don't I actually I don't know how. So I don't think I will. I'm gonna add it to my permanent collection and you'll see it again in my, um, my bag collection. So this is Tony B. Gray signing off.